everyone, Mr. Gavin here, and we're going to get into a bit of Kiba language today. Now, on the skulls of the you used to get Nan Sapri, there is symbols all around. Now, this is Kiba language. Now, I've translated this bit, but not the bit on the big statue, so feel free to translate it and let me know what it is. But there's a very easy website that you can use, I'll put in the description. So, the first symbol, which is this one, says volatile or chaotic. Now, the next one around here is another symbol. Now, we're going to translate these all and see what it says but if you translate anything else let me know in the comment section so we'll translate this bit and it says doom or horrible consequence now there is four symbols so we're gonna have to do them all to try and work out what the story is so this is the next one now what we're gonna do is when you translate this through the website again that'll be in the description it says repel resist repel or fight now there is four, so we're going to head over to the next one. If you want to translate these and let me know what they say, that'd be brilliant. But the last one, um, it's all based on base 10 numbers, so if you're really clever, you can work it out, but I couldn't. But using the website, the last one says blood. So if we put them all together, my translation of it is going to be resist the chaotic doom, clean the blood, clean the blood even, which is what we do when you um, cleanse the skulls. You pick the skull up, you go over, once you've resisted the zombies, it cleans the blood off the skull, put it back here, and you get the skull of Nan Sapwi. So let me know what you think of this in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.